Hello friends, in this video tutorial we are going to see how we can add custom column in our post page or custom post type. For example, here this is a featured image column I have added here. We will see how we can create such custom columns. We can create for this custom taxonomies or any other meta fields that in our post page or custom post type have. So, let's get started for this you have to add a code in your child themes functions.php or you might need to use this code in your uh, plugin if you are going to use a uh, plugin to create a custom post type or something like that or you have to add this code in your child themes functions.php file okay so uh, in this example we are going to see how we can set this featured image column you can see that uh, this featured image column uh, function is not available in default posts. We will see how we can add uh, such columns in uh, custom post type and all that things. As well as if what if we want to remove these uh, few uh, default columns like uh, I, I do not want this author column or I do not want this categories column and all that things. Let's get started. So. Here is my child themes functions.php file and I'm going to paste some code here. So basically you have to add two things, one filter and the another one is action. In the filter manage post column, this is a default WordPress uh, filter. So in this filter we are going to set a columns title. This is for the title, we are going to use it. So add filter manage post column and you have to create a custom function for that we, uh, we are going to create it. This is the function name custom column head. We will create this function. Okay. And we have to add action custom action oh sorry add action and manage post column. And this is again a function name we are going to create this function column content here it is for the title heading and here it is the content you can see here featured image this is the title and for the content this is the image so we are going to write code in these two different function this is the priority and all that things so let's create the fun uh, first function custom column head okay Here is our function custom column head you can see here. Now custom column head has a one parameter. It is defaults. Defaults is uh, column names which are already available for like this one title, author, categories, tags and etc. And we this is an array and we are going to add one more value in this and that is our featured image. Okay, let me actually show what contains this uh, dollar defaults. Okay, so print underscore r and we are going to write this dollar defaults uh, defaults columns here. And now I'm going to reload here in the back end in the screen options. You can see here. It is a title, author has author, categories has categories, tags has comments and you can see all these things, title, author, category, tags, everything here. Right now featured image is not available here because we are printing it before adding it. You can see now I am going to put this one after. reload it you can see now our new column head is here featured image you can see here it is also now here available then you can enable and disable this okay so this default contains all the heading of the column now we are going to create content for this uh, column okay so let me add that function 
Okay, I am going to edit right here. So here is our fun function for the content. <coughs> it has two parameter, column name and the post ID. Obviously, we will have here one, two, three, another posts here. So we have to decide uh, it uh, the content with the post ID. So it has the first column name. Uh, like this one title author category tags and featured image and then the post id so it is going to look through for the all the posts right there so for that we have to identify look through all the columns and uh, it is going to apply for all the column so we have to decide this content for this particular column here is our featured image in the array you can see here and now we are mapping here column name with the featured image if it is featured image only then we are going to do all these things and show the image for other columns we are not going to do anything so here is the main condition you can use switch case here if there are multiple columns and all that thing here we are going to use only if because we have only this one column and you can use multiple if condition if uh, needed so the column name and featured image here we are getting uh, the uh, thumbnail of this particular post and this will have a thumbnail id and if a featured image is set there then there is going to be a thumbnail id and using that thumbnail id we are we are uh, getting a thumbnail image of that particular post so each image has a thumbnail id and using that thumbnail id we are going to get the image and that image has all the different of uh, different things but we are interested in the uh, path of that image and that path of image is uh, we can get this by the defining this one it is an array and the first very first value by defining zero here has a path so in short this featured image, post featured image will have a path of that particular image. Using this that path we can easily create image tag and pass that path over there and we can show the image. In this condition if there is a path then we will show the image and if there is nothing is there then we will write no image. Okay. So basically we are going to output the content if you have a meta field then uh, custom fields then you have to fetch that custom field based on that particular post id and print it if you have a, a custom post type oh, sorry a custom taxonomies then you have to fetch the taxonomies related to that particular post and show it it completely depends this content on based on which column you are going to create so basically this is the thing uh, filter action filter has a heading code what will be the head of the column heading of the column and the content has a, will have a content of related to that particular post so this is very basic thing uh, now what if we want to remove one column from uh, this particular uh, post okay post type post later on we will see how we can uh, add columns in custom post types okay so hiding the uh, column is really easy uh, here in the head column we know that uh, the defaults contains all the column array so simply setting the or uh, unsetting the element of array it will remove that column let's do here one uh, for example i do not want these categories uh, columns so i am going to unset it unset this is our default array and i am going to remove categories uh, this way it should remove categories from this uh, from here you can see i'm going to reload now and the categories are gone you can see categories are also not available here thus 
just simpling element from the uh, simply unsetting the element of array we can remove the column okay so this video is getting long so we will see in next video where we will discuss about the uh, custom post type uh, columns thank you for watching see you in next video